What is up everybody, Clinton here. In this video, we're going to be talking about conditions of worth. Now, it's a weekend, so psychology time. I reached out to my Instagrammers, my social media crew, and to people in real life in general and say, you know, what psychology related video do you want me to do? And someone said, do video on conditions of worth. Thank you very much for this video topic. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. You know, if we're talking about conditions of worth, which is we're really talking about Carl Rogers, who is an uh, American psychologist, uh, we really have to learn about uh, self-concept and then talk about conditions of worth and then talk a little bit about self-esteem. Now, self-concept is what an individual uh, believes about themselves and it's the attributes they attach to themselves. The same way you can judge an apple by, you know, its attributes. You can say, this is a green apple. This is a red apple. Uh, um, we tend to evaluate ourselves based on our attributes. Now, certain individuals may evaluate themselves uh, more strongly in certain attributes like, yes, I'm an independent person or or um, or my sense of style is what uh, I, I, um, I value myself most on or that's the sort of uh, attributes that I put on myself the most uh, that represents who I sort of am. The, the style represents this, etc. Now, Carl Rogers states that for um, us to be our greatest version in life, uh, there are two things that must uh, align. Now, there, that is our real selves, which is who you are in this present moment. And the second is our ideal self. It's who you think you should be now. Not who you think you should be in the future, who you think you should be next week. Who you think you should be now. It says for us to uh, be our greatest version, we have to align these two. And what happens is, if these components are not aligned, say who you are right now is not aligned with your ideal self, you will start to feel things like uh, guilt, uh, disharmony, uh, frustration, uh, depression, um, all these um, negative uh, 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 like feelings because of misalignment. And the thing about the uh, ideal self is that it can be subjected to influence based on the people around you, uh, society, your parents, etc., your friends, all these different things. And we're going to talk now on what the uh, remedy uh, for, for this is. Carl Rogers believes that there are three main components that uh, we should um, seek to, to develop in terms of our external reality and the people around us to help us align our, uh, our real selves with our ideal selves. Now, this is all going to tie into conditions of worth in, in a second. So hold on, hold on. Now, the first one is surround yourself with people who, who will empathize with you. And empathy being um, whenever you can put yourself aside and step into someone's shoes. You can, you can really uh, feel and see things from someone else's perspective. Uh, and regardless of whether you've actually been through the same thing, you can actually put yourself in that position. So you want to surround yourself with people who are, um, will empathize with you. Um, the second is people who will give you uh, unconditional positive regard. And unconditional positive regard is, is, is people who will uh, esteem you, uh, like you, value you, um, um, you know, accept you for who you are, uh, regardless of what you do. And the last one is uh, people who will be authentic with you, people who will be real with you. And um, he says that if you have these three things, it will, it will provide the, the, one of the best environments for you to be able to now align your uh, real self with your ideal self. And the main reason that is, is because of conditions of worth. 
Okay, conditions of worth. Now, what is conditions of worth and why do you need those three components to be able to um, uh, better allow you to align your real self with your ideal self? Now, conditions of worth is whenever you feel that you have to engage in certain behaviors to get esteem, to get love, to get acceptance, to get valued by people around you. Maybe your partner, your parents, or, or your society at large. And um, you feel that the only way you get these things is whenever you engage in those behaviors. Now... The thing about this is that a lot of people, Carl Rogers says, are unhappy because they're engaging in things that isn't really true to themselves. It's not aligned with who they really, really are. And um, it causes disharmony because people feel that they have to, they're in, able to get the, this esteem and this value, they have to engage in these behaviors. And a good example of conditions of worth in general is say someone someone wants to be a musician say you say you you want to be a musician or pick something that you feel um uh, uh really resonates with you right now uh but for this we're going to use the musician as an example um so say you want to be a musician you feel that that is um uh, that feels authentic to you you love it you want to be able to play uh you know the beatles or the banjo or the ukulele or rap or sing or you know whatever you want to do uh however your parents or your partner or your friends or uh um uh, say to you no 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 you know what you really want to be is an engineer and you know that's the safe path you know what i mean you'll be able to get a job etc and you know they're justified in saying that they just they just want to see you succeed etc uh, however, that is not something that is authentic to you. And whenever you move in the direction of being a musician, they they don't provide you with esteem. They uh, don't uh, accept you. They uh, don't value you. Um, all these different things whenever you're moving in the direction of a musician. Um, however, whenever you start moving in, that, in the direction of, like, say, an engineer, uh, they start to, you know, pull back, the, they start to bring back the esteem, the, the love, the acceptance, the value, like, oh, yes, good, 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 yes, this, yes, good, good job, you know. Um, and uh, because of that, you, you follow that path, you go in that direction of being an engineer, even though you authentically feel called to be a musician, that is conditions of worth. That is, con that is conditions of work, worth to the to the letter and it's the same with it's the same with with like say like uh um you're studying in school and your parents hold you to a standard of getting an a etc and uh you come home one day with a c and they're like what is this you know and they're 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 you know not empathizing with you uh not giving you a uh, positive regard you know they're not they're not really accept being uh, accepting of you and what this does is this runs you, this drives you crazy because you're like, oh my God, the only way I can, the only way I can get this esteem and this love is by if I do well in school and it runs you and it stresses you out. So the solution for this, because this, this doesn't happen in, in the area of like, say like career or like grades. This also happens in relationships. Uh, whether like you, you want um, children or your partner doesn't or your partner wants children you don't or or whatever it is marriage not marriage etc there's so many different areas in life where this can affect you so what is the solution we kind of already touched upon that that's unconditional positive regard Carl Rogers states unconditional positive regard Surrounding yourself with people who will give you unconditional positive regard and those th three those, those three components that we mentioned with you know the empathy and the authenticity and The main reason you want to do this is because uh, if if you're surrounded by people who will give you unconditional positive self-regard Anyway, then they're gonna be they're gonna say to you. Hey look regardless of what you do regardless of where you go regardless of what you what you like you feel authentically uh, called for. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like you. I'm gonna esteem you. I'm gonna accept you for who you are. I'm gonna empathize with you. And that is powerful because if, if we don't get, if if we're not like the the reason that's so powerful is because a lot of people are 
do, doing and engaging in things simply to receive that um, uh, self-esteem. And if you're surrounded by someone who's just like, look, I don't care, you do you. Do you. you do you, homie. You do you. You're gonna you're gonna feel more like ah okay all right okay you know what I mean like I'm gonna go for this musician you know what I mean I'm still gonna have a crew of people who who care for me regardless you know what I mean who will, who will give me that unconditional positive regard and something I will add on to this is to give yourself this unconditional positive regard and to build your self esteem in that way because really we want to we want to move in that direction because because um, we are around ourselves 24 seven. So, you know, you, are, you, you have the potential to be your greatest friend or your greatest enemy. And a good way to, to begin building your self-esteem is by um, saying the words, I like myself. Now, this is something I first stumbled across uh, whenever I heard Brian Tracy, who's an international, like sort of motivational speaker, best-selling author in relation to like psychology, all these different things. And, you know, just look yourself in the mirror, look yourself in the mirror and say, I like myself, you know, I like myself, I like myself. Now, this is going to feel strange at first. And whenever I first started doing this, it's going to feel strange. But the more you say the words, I like myself, the more you start to lift up your self-esteem. You're giving yourself that unconditional positive self-regard. You're not depend. You're not dependent on your external reality to give yourself that. Of course, go out there and see people who will give you this, but give yourself that uh, unconditional positive um, self-regard too okay and you know I've been doing this for years I've been doing this for years you know and it really really does help it helps you to move in the direction that you feel called for uh, I remember whenever I was even moving in the direction of you know eating a uh, vegan um, diet the people around me weren't really esteeming me. They weren't like saying, good job, bro. Like, you know, they weren't saying good job. So like, I had to provide myself with that esteem. And you know, I was listening to like things online from people who were like, yeah, you know, this is, this is, this is the way forward and you know, this is the path. And you know, I was getting that sort of um, a positive regard from people online. And sometimes you gotta do that. Sometimes it's gonna be you and just people online until you actually find people in real life who are like, yes, you know what I mean? <laughs> who are willing to, who are willing to, who are willing to give you that uh, unconditional uh, positive regard. And um, uh, last but not least is we want to move ourselves in the path of aligning our real selves with our uh, ideal self. We want to align that because as Carl Rogers states is that if we want to develop high senses of self-esteem, we will move in this direction. We will stop listening to the voices of, of conditions based on our uh, people in our lives, we will actually figure out the areas in our life where uh, conditions are being placed. And we will do the work, do the work as it is work, do the work in um, uh, building our own self-esteem, building our sense of self-worth by working on those three components and surrounding yourself with uh, people who can help you uh, in with those three components. So if you like this video, uh, leave a like, uh, comment, and uh, if you want to see more uh, psychology videos, uh, leave a question. And uh, share this to anyone who you feel may benefit from this. Um, whenever I heard about this, I was like, damn, there's like there's so many areas in my life that, like looking back in the past, uh, that it, it, just, it seemed like uh, there was uh, conditions being placed uh, for esteem and the value and stuff like that. And bear in mind that we do this too. So, you know, don't be on your like uh, your little pedestal because because people do it to us and we do it to them. But it's just about understanding what is going on. So with that being said, peace, love, veganism, like and subscribe. Until next time.